Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Year after year, some viral equation gets spread across the internet, dividing people up into groups, and everyone is arguing about what the correct answer is. I'm so happy to cover these topics and to clear up misconceptions. Here's another problem that came across my desk. What is 8 divided by 2 multiplied by 4 equal to? The answer choices are 1, 16, 4, none of the above, or there is no correct answer. It is ambiguous and poorly written. What do you think the correct answer is? Let's work it out by using the modern interpretation of the order of operations. This is commonly remembered as PEMDAS. This refers to parentheses, then exponents, multiplication and division, and addition subtraction. You could also remember it as BODMUS, where we have brackets and orders. If you have two operators of the same precedence, evaluate them from left to right. So in this expression, we have only multiplication and division, which are of the same precedence, so we want to evaluate them from left to right. So we start with 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. Then we have 4 multiplied by 4, and that gives the correct answer of 16. This is without a doubt the correct answer according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. Now let's just go back in time a little bit to the year 1917. I came across this paper, Discussions Relating to the Order of Operations in Algebra, and this was published in the American Mathematical Monthly which was first published in 1894. It's quite amazing that something could still be published that was started in 1894. Interestingly, they covered exactly this topic. In case the signs of multiplication and division occur, the operations are to be performed in the order from left to right. In fact, this very question appears in the paper. 8 divided by 2 multiplied by 4, you need to evaluate 8 divided by 2 and then multiply it by 4 to get 16. And this is not 8 divided by the group term 2 multiplied by 4. That would be equal to 1. A series of operations involving multiplication and division alone shall be performed in the order in which they occur from left to right. So this should settle matters forever. But interestingly, there is always an exception that proves the rule. For years, I've been asking someone to provide a reference to a historical usage. Many people have said, well, I've learned that if I've seen multiplication and division, we would take the left side and divide it by the right side. In other words, multiplications are done before division. And I want to thank Pete for actually providing me with a reference. This comes from a textbook that he used and he saved and he actually took a picture and sent it to me. When there are no symbols of grouping in an expression, it is understood that multiplication is performed first, division next, and addition or subtraction last. So here we have 32 divided by 4 multiplied by 2 and specifically the author says you need to do 4 multiplied by 2 first to get 8 and then 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. And they said, don't do it the other way. Now, this is the first time I've actually seen a printed reference that shows this example. And I'm so grateful to see it. So people who said they learned it another way, it is definitely possible. You should never dismiss that they did learn it this other way. So what would be the answer by this convention? We would need to do 2 multiplied by 4 first, and that gives 8. Substituting that in, we have 8 divided by 8, which is equal to 1. And that would be the answer according to this interpretation of the order of operations. So we have two possible answers. For fun, I put a poll on YouTube and I asked people, what would you say the correct answer is? So 16 is what I would say the correct answer is. And on this poll, there were over 169,000 responses. So it's not a scientific poll, but it is a lot of responses. Overwhelmingly, 83% of people gave the answer of 16. 
only 5% of people said the answer was one, and 11% of people said there's no correct answer, it's ambiguous and poorly written. Presumably, they would say the answer is either one or 16. But even then, if you look at modern usage, overwhelmingly, most people are taught to go from left to right and give the answer of 16. 83% is a lot of people to agree on a divisive topic. So let me address the issue of the people who say the answer is ambiguous. Think about the sentence, I saw the man with binoculars. Does that mean you use binoculars to see the man, or does it mean I saw a man who had binoculars? There are two ways to interpret this sentence, but so far I've never seen anyone say that we need to ban every single ambiguous sentence in the English language. We deal with ambiguity, we resolve it, we interpret things in context. It's actually a bit of the fun of life. So in order to resolve the ambiguity, you might wonder, how might a calculator evaluate this expression? Now, if you find a calculator that says, there's no correct answer, the correct answer is this is ambiguous, I'll give you credit. But from what I've seen, a calculator will evaluate this expression and give you an answer. It's going to use its internal set of rules and create a binary expression tree. So let's see how that might work. So we have eight divided by two times four. If it does eight divided by two first, we'll have one thing which is eight divided by two. We take the result, then we create another branch where we take that result and multiply it by four. This binary expression tree will give the result of 16. But there's another way it could have a binary expression tree. It could do two divided by four first. It'll have two and four being multiplied. Then we take the result and then we take eight divided by that result. In that case, you would end up with one. So presumably, if there are two different conventions, some people learned it one way, some people learned it another way, you might expect that calculators and computer programs would have a divide over this. Some would say 16, some would say one. So let's just look at what they actually say. So if you input this into Google, it will say the answer is 16, and it will actually parse it out as eight divided by two first, then multiplied by four. It will use this binary expression tree. Wolfram Alpha, which usually gets calculations correct, also gives the answer of 16. People who say 16 is the wrong answer might wonder why are these calculators giving it? Well, there is a convention and that's the reason they do give it. I also put this into various computer programs as eight divided by two multiplied by four. This is equal to 16 in Python, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, Excel, and most scientific calculators I've seen, if not all scientific calculators. So you might say the answer is one, but it is a practical reality that if you wanna be a programmer, if you wanna use spreadsheets, if you wanna use calculators, most of you are watching this on a mobile phone, you're watching it on the YouTube app. These things actually do matter in how we evaluate them. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity for us to explain the order of operations and what the correct answer is according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.